Hello and a very warm welcome back to the garden. Now it may be June, but my sowing season is far from over. So in this video, I'm gonna show you 15 must sow crops in June as I go about and catch up on some garden tasks. So we're gonna kick off the first crop with coriander. This is something that I sow new batches of every two to three weeks until around mid-July, and then I'll start transplanting them into a polytunnel. But it's a beautiful herb and this is starting to run to seed which is great because I can enjoy those really precious green coriander seeds. You can either sow them directly or start them off in modules. The next crop to sow in June is dill. It's becoming one of my absolute favourites and it does grow a little bit like a weed but it is so fantastic and it adds a lovely texture to the garden. But one thing it does do is it also self seeds. So if you sow some dill now and let it grow and let it flower and die back down naturally, this is what you'll be able to enjoy next year. A self-sown forest of dill that you can lift and transplant anywhere you want in the garden. Free food. The next crop to sow in June is actually your carrots. Now this dill, which we were talking about last time, was self-sown and uh, I'm just going to harvest that. Look at that for a bit of free food. But yeah, start sowing a bunch of carrots because kind of by mid to late June it's usually the last opportunity to guarantee really nice harvest towards late summer, early autumn. The next crop is also a root vegetable and it's one of my favourite, it's beetroot which you can eat the leaves, you can treat it a little bit like Swiss chard or like a spinach substitute but beetroot is it's such a great crop and it really does hold quite well during winter and I was still harvesting them in January and February. And that's something you can enjoy, especially if you start sowing a load of beetroot, either directly in rows or in modules, multi-sown this month. If I could dedicate a whole garden to peas, I would because they're one of the sweetest, most amazing snacks that you can possibly grow. They're uh, suitable for containers as well. This is Calvert and Wonder. It's just an absolute trooper kind of workhorse of a variety for me. And it's something, almost any pea that you can actually sow in June, especially in the first half of June. I'm doing my final big round of pea sowing this month. And they're absolutely stunning. If there's anything on this list that I recommend you do, it would definitely be peas because sometimes if we just stick to the spring sowings, the pea season can be over a little bit prematurely. So making sure that you start off a load in June means that you can really extend that and enjoy their flavor. The next crop to sow is actually kale. Kale is a extremely hardy plant and unlike some of the other brassicas, you can actually plant it quite late in the season. I've let all this kale flower and it's now run to seed now the smaller seed pods are actually really delicious. They're a really nice snack. They're a bit like a little mini bush bean or dwarf French bean. But what I'm doing, I'm just gonna clear these out, chop and drop. But kale is a great crop, a great brassica to sow this month. And you can either do it directly in the seed bed like I like to do and then transplant it. Or you can sow them in pots keep them in bigger pots and then when you start clearing parts of the garden in late summer you can then transplant these mature kale plants out into those positions to grow. The next crop to sow in June is courgette also known as zucchini. It's such a fast growing maturing crop. I'm growing here a yellow courgette. I'm just going to plant it in this bed now, the main thing is to bear in mind is that courgettes are really, really, really productive. So don't have too many plants because you'll be overrun. But if it is something that you've forgotten or you might only have two plants, you might want to consider having one extra and extending the cropping season. Another great crop to sow in June, and it's probably the perfect time of year to start it, is kohlrabi. It's a really fast developing kind of brassica, weird root stem vegetable and it adds a lot of interest to the garden especially if you grow something like purple delicacy for the color but it really looks like a vegetable that's come from outer space and weird extraterrestrial vegetable but start sowing it this month it does bring a lot of color and also a lot of nice flavor to the kitchen you might be surprised to hear that the next crop to sow 
or kind of in this case plant, is actually potatoes, especially the variety Sarpomira, because I found it to be really good in terms of blight resistance. But I'm just harvesting some of the first of the early potatoes. Here we are right at the end of May and we're getting this stunning crop. However, in June, when June hits, I'm going to be planting all of these first early buckets with sarpo mirrors and they're going to be kind of my core crop over winter. The next must grow crop is actually fennel. This is bulb fennel but this is actually from last year on its second year and it's about to send out a load of lovely flowers and you can use normal bulb fennel just like the herb fennel for the fronds here. But June is a really nice time to actually start off your fennel because actually if you start them too early, they actually run the risk of bolting if you say sow them in March or April. And that's something that you can actually avoid by sowing them in June. And they're faster mature, one of the tastiest vegetables you can grow. And I'm going to be growing probably five times as many as last year. The next crop is kind of a two in one. It's both Swiss chard and perpetual spinach. I've got some ruby chard growing here at the end of this raised bed and it's starting to come into its own it's probably i mean i could harvest it now and use it like a, a smaller leaf but i'm gonna let it grow and start using the stem etc but this is a crop both swiss chard and perpetual spinach it actually works really well direct sown just like you would for spinach or lettuce you can start them off in modules as well this is what i did here however if you've got a little bit of space like a little patch sow a row of swiss chard and it will feed you so much food from a very small space the next crop which i'll also include as a group of crops to start off in june is kind of the last chance to do all of your runner beans and climbing pole beans or french beans this here is district nurse it's a heritage climbing bean and i'm popping it around this wigwam here and i like to start them in nice kind of deep module tray cells these come from container wise because they do like and need a lot of root space to get started with i would sow them directly however voles and mice will always find a legume planted directly in this garden hence why we start them off in modules like this the next crop is something i've been meaning to sow for a few seasons now because i grew it a few years ago and I, I loved it and i kept on forgetting about it but not this year I bought six seed packets of it to make sure that I had enough and it's called Celtis, also known as stem lettuce. And the thing that is so nice about this, it separates it from what I found when I grew it all those years ago, was that it didn't run to seed as quickly as lettuce and the stem was so nice. It's kind of like a, a, a celery lettuce hybrid. You could use a stem in stir fries and all sorts. And if there's one thing that's slightly funky, but you should try growing and you should definitely try growing it in June or sowing it, it's definitely Celtis. Give it a try and let me know what you think. If it sounds like I'm right next to a football stadium, the farmer next door is moving all of the sheep and it seriously sounds like a packed out Wembley stadium. Uh, but I'm just actually capturing and, and grabbing some of these chai flowers because they're such a nice thing to either sprinkle over salads or you can do a vinegar infusion with. And one of the other crops to sow uh, in June is actually turnips. I'm not a massive fan of turnips, but if you are a little bit put off by turnips, the best way to enjoy them is to sow them round about now and harvest them in about eight weeks time when they're about the size of a golf ball. The turnipy flavour, it really isn't there, but it's actually a really pleasant, refreshing, crisp root crop that you can do quite a bit with. The 15th must sow crop is actually dwarf French beans or bush beans like I have in front of me here. And this video will show you why you're not growing enough of them in your garden this summer and also how quick and easy they are to sow and grow. <laughs> 